I am now streaming. That could be any number. <laughs> right after everyone rolls initiative. <laughs> I suppose I'll do this as well. All right. Okay, I'm. Let me tweet this out and Discord it and everything. No, you don't. You just want to. I said, let me. No. You can't, you can't! I'm the DM, tough luck. <laughs> You're not allowed. <coughs> You're the DM, for now. You're not allowed, you failed your intelligence save. I failed my what intelligence is this, a mutiny? save for every single day of my life. Same. Well yes, you exist. At least you find the net. <laughs> Well, alrighty. <laughs> Welcome back to Tomb of Annihilation. Where we last left off, you guys were having a conversation with a genie from a bottle. And then your cleric proceeded to insult her. So, we'll pick up where we left off with the Dow's head just turning to look at Juju. It says, And for that. You're going to be leaving it to the plane of Earth first. And she's going to start walking towards her with her hand outstretched. Um, well, I don't have the first initiative that Sakaria has. So, have we an initiative just yet, Owen? Nope. Not yet. It depends what happens ah. right now. On to which I reply, Whoa there! Pardon me, but I really have to have a very serious talk with this lass right here. Unto which I go up to her and I slap her over the face. Sakaria, what are you doing? Nothing. Are you moving out of the way? Are you standing your ground? I'm moving I out of the way. throw my hands up and I say... Now there, now there. There is no need for this. But I step back a bit. Okay. You see... The doll's hand glow with... Blue light. And I'm gonna need... To, uh, well, first she needs to make an attack roll. That was her... I mean, the others have made an attempt to calm the situation down. Yeah, apparently she doesn't care. Nope. I mean, I I'm gonna need Juju to make a charisma saving throw. Oof. Juju. Does anybody have control of Juju? Yeah, Hobbit. I believe. I do, but I'm not being responsible for her death when she's not. <laughs> she's not gonna die. Just be banished. <laughs> or something. Main, main shifted, which doesn't work in the tomb. Like, we know the Dao has plane shift, because she told us. And she just said, I'm gonna send you to the plane of Earth. I'll roll for her then. And Juju fails. Because I don't believe she has advantage against spells, so uh, Juju... With a flare of the black energy you've seen before, winks out of sight. Well, at least she gets to leave this realm with a nasty burn on her cheek. Seriously, yeah, moral, he just... He just shrugs it off. Well, now you'd have to find your own way back home, or wait until tomorrow or something. I would advise you to get out of the tomb first, though. Because I do not believe she went where you think she went. And what way would that exit be? Upwards? Remember that you do know that the door is closed. The door is closed? But I'm sure someone of your power will find a way. She inclines her head at you. 
if you can art and you feel like taking on the thing that made this place, then let us know. We will be somewhere here trying to destroy the thing responsible. Well, you gave me my freedom and I see no further reason to assist you, so what would be the best way for me to get up? I do not know the layout of this tomb. You see the tiny tunnel here? <laughs> you go through it. I'm sure you can. Uh, then left and you will find a staircase. She's gonna gas his form. Up and down. Yep. She's gonna go ahead, gas his form, and start leaving. Oh, and if you do see our friend, our uh, companion again, please don't kill her. Just give her a good slap. And she leaves. Fair enough. I will murderize the town order. Thus, Juju is. Uh, mm, she is probably wherever you ended up. Oh, God. Okay, so, with the Dow leaving, uh, she did leave the treasure she gave you behind, as it was a deal she made. She didn't try and take it um, back. How much was it worth again? I think. I think each of them was worth uh, $12.50. I read 23. Uh, yes, uh, the two sapphire cords are worth uh, 12 50 each. You may add this to your bag of holding. Your mercy. Yep. I'll take those. <laughs> we. I don't take have those. the bag open though, so if someone else can actually add them. Uh, give me a second. Uh, holding TOA. There it is. Right, are we done in this stinking shithole? Can we move on? Okay, can somebody else do it who knows what we just got? Uh, how much was it? At what 1250, 1250 each. 12? 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. Heavy they are. Um, um point five inch. It's a cordlet made of sapphire. Yeah, something that she was wearing in her hair. Uh, I'll say half a pound each. There we go. Well, hopefully Juju will make her way back to us at some point. Or not. Well, we'll see about that. We'll see. Hmm. Anyways, should we just move on? I suppose so. So, to the stairs and downwards, wasn't it? Or am I wrong? Uh, have we exported explored everything in, on this star? This um, floor? Meryl, before you move away, make the perception check. Oh, it's the tabaxi sheet, not my sheet. There's a secret door at the end of that corridor. No way. Uh, yeah, the way the Dow bottle was found. Okay. Now let me go on to start my lighting layer. Oh god, everyone just moves simultaneously. <laughs> <laughs> everyone is like, oh, what's going on? I wanna see. 
Uh, that is... I see both of these Yep. Uh, six last cauldrons brimming with humanoid bones line the walls of this tomb, at the centre of which stands an ancient chariot bearing a bronze sarcophagus with treasure strewn atop it. Paintings on the chariot's body show a tall bird with a long, sharp beak. On the south wall, a bronze shield bears the embossed image of a Chultum warrior carrying a spear, below an inscription that reads, Bow before no one. Four bronze statues stand on pedestals to either side of the shield. They depict Chultum warriors, one holding a sword, two with spears, and one missing its face. Uh, I don't believe any of you are occupied by Nang Nang. Nope. Who has Saved. who has Obalaka? I do. Uh, Obo warns you that the cauldrons contain the bones of Papa Zotl's most zealous devotees, who even in death might seek to protect him. I uh, share that information with the rest of the group. Um. As I referred to the warning that Asararak gave us, that says, Bow as the dead god in tongue. Exactly. Pretty sure bow before no one be means to actually bow, not to not bow. Mm -hmm. I suppose this is not my forte then. Bow as the dead god in tongue. Um, Perhaps we bow at some thing instead of someone. Hell no. Um, well, I'm just rambling at this point. This is a guy called no one. I'll enter and bow towards the shield then. <laughs> You're bowing towards the one. shield? Mm hmm. Okay. Noted. Uh, the Mercy. statues, just so, just so there's. There. Just so the description be repeated, the statues depict Chilton Warriors. One holding a sword, two with spears, this one, and this one, thank you, roll 20, and one missing its face, this one. Um. <laughs> Maybe bow before the one that has no face? I am I was, not sure, though. I was actually thinking the same, but, you know... <coughs> Don't you know anything about this? God? Uh, or maybe that he, anger? That, maybe he you doesn't, have... that he doesn't like Nang Nang? No, that he doesn't like Shagambi. Right. Never mind that he doesn't like Kubazan. The Frogomoth. <laughs> he doesn't like the Frogomoth. Noted, Umbra. Nothing happens. And he likes Not his visibly. Sticks. Or she, I don't know. Papa Zotl is a he or she? Papa Zotl is he. Okay. He likes to play tricks. Morally, you stood there. If I stand there? Ah, oh, you stood there. I am actually on my way into the room, so... Yeah. Okay. Umbra, what are you doing with the chariot? Mm, I'm waiting for... Uh, if they think, you know, open it or not. Wait for the others. There are a number of treasures actually strewn across the top of the sarcophagus. Um, in anything organised or...? Strewn across. Just like idle litter? Um. It's in Discord chat. Oh. I'll point it out to the others. Remind me again what does the amulet of health do? Set your constitution score to 19. Ooh. Set your constitution score to 19. Yep. Yep. Call it cheese, that's. That is one very useful amulet. What are you doing, Moral? Um, following Meryl's footsteps, doing the same as him. Okay. 
kneel down on my head. Stand back up. Okay. It takes a deep sigh, and I was like, ah, I hope that works. I'm gonna break this. Should we open? Uh, well, if you want to do that, go ahead. I'm just gonna stand. Are you touching right stuff on the top of the sarcophagus? I will gently pick them up to move them down onto the chariot around the uh, sarcophagus first. Okay. okay, nothing happens. Can you make me an athletics check? Damn it. Can't they say acrobatics? Oh, for opening it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I thought for a moment it was like something jumping out. It's a bit of a struggle. You fight with it. Your muscles kind of don't feel as you're used to, but. Eventually you get it shoved off, and inside the sarcophagus are the brittle skull and bones of an Eblis. Kind of acrobatics, it's our sarcophagus open. No. I'm sorry, brittle bones of an <laughs> The brittle skull and bones of an Eblis. I mean, it's as bullshit as bluffing knowing things about planes. It works. <laughs> <laughs> um... It's just some remains. Mer 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 huh? It's just a bunch of bones. Is it? Where is he? Mm -hmm. wow. Maybe be because you bowed, you can take the treasure? That sounds too easy. It does sound very I lift up the nearest treasure to me. I'll just let you just randomly decide which okay. one it is. Okay. As you touch the amulet. <laughs> randomly? Yeah, so random. <laughs> Strange shadows shift across the walls, forming the outline of a long legged bird. Its beak stabs at you as a voice echoes through your mind. You will do as I command. Can you make me a charisma saving throw? You can choose to fail. Well, that's the plus zero, so... Nope. Let me give you your hand out. Oh, fuck you in his floor! <laughs> <laughs> Although... Uh... I will note, you do not have to follow the gods' flaws. They are optional. Okay. I'm just gonna guess the gods are not gonna be happy with you if you don't. I like that last power as well. <laughs> of all of all the people that could be useful to <laughs> I guess given to the monk. Okay. I will also note to the north, uh, you can see the backsides of three zombies who whose heads seem to be stuck through the door heads seem to be stuck through the door. Like, there's three holes in this nine foot wide, nine foot high door at human head height. Zombies at the moment are each looking through them. I put my finger up to Moral and to the others as well. Uh, finger up to my lips and look at the others. I, 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 I flip my finger at the zombies. Yeah, same. <laughs> they don't notice anything. The fucking well, zombies. I, I raised my eyebrows at you. Actually, I don't because from here I can't see you. I will note that the zombies from this Matthew, side. What are they doing? Uh, I'll note from this side <laughs> you can see. That... Shut up! From this side you can see that the zombies are chained to the door. Oh. Should we just torment them a little bit? I mean, that's not really necessary. We. Uh, <laughs> might just make one go shut up. We should just move on and... All I'm, all I'm saying is, this thing is, that's in my head, wants a battle. Might as well give me some torture. I will leave you to that, as I will go and inform the other of the party what's happening. Yeah, alright. I'll make it short. Just make okay. sure he'll be bored. 
and I head over and squeeze like Mercy back a bit so I can get in and out this room. So how many fireballs do I have to throw at them to kill them all? Um, no zombies are just fireballing them, so I'll just say you kill them. I, you know, they can't get to you. They have twenty-two HP. I'm just gonna say you kill them. <laughs> yeah, two bolts each. Right, if I step pew, pew, pew. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so I explain to the others that there's a small trap. I still got the amulet. I've probably hooked the amulet around my clinking with my other soul <laughs> thing. Um, I'm assuming that I can do that, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. Just making sure. This is this isn't Pathfinder. And uh, even uh, then, your <clears throat> skull amulet would not conflict with a uh, actual amulet. Okay. There appears to be some more treasure over there. Uh, frankly, looting is not my first priority. But if anyone wants to go and collect it, by, by all means, you do you. Uh, I'll step to the side and go like, uh, here you go, Mercy. Anything magical? Well, the whole random stuff that you guys have been talking to yourselves with, apparently I've got one now. As I sort of just lift up the amulet of health. It could oh. be worse. Oh, congratulations then, I guess. Mm. Now, are you gonna Ooh, let Mercy yeah. squeeze through? Are you gonna let um, Mercy squeeze through so she can get her treasure? Is there any way out? Any way further? Anything? There's I don't know the boot if there's... There's a door in the north that did have a load of zombies, but I think more will take care of that. It looks there's like no... a very heavy stone door. There's no zombies. Only dead bodies. Someone get the shinies, I can't pick them up. <laughs> <laughs> This okay. is a really annoying character flaw, and I can't help but pick up loose coins and things when I can't pick things up. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Hobbit, do you have an ETA on Ray? I will bow to the statue. Okay. Uh, Hobbit, do you have an ETA on Ray, by the way? No. Okay. She has not replied since, like, this morning. Fair. Probably hell at work, then. Yep. Okay. I know how hell so you is. bow. I bow. And I'll grab what I can. You can take it all. There's no response. Yeah. Okay. I'm just standing in this doorway like go, 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 go. <laughs> Which way do we want to go? Then? Hells if I know. I didn't look closer at anything. I still want to inspect the door. It looks heavy. Looks to be made of stone. Want to give it a shot? Is there anything on the other side that I can hear? Or? Uh, based on your knowledge of geography of the tomb, you would know the ledge of the grand staircase is outside. I just realised something. Can I pick? Can I peer through and see on the other side? <laughs> the ledge of the grand staircase is on the other side. Could I shadow step through because I can see it and then get to the other side and help push as they pull? Uh, you can try and help lift from that side. If you're stronger than me, I'll let you try it before I do. Okay. Mercy, what's your strength score? Meryl, what's your strength <laughs> score? Not that high. Um, what's my character's Probably higher than mine. 14. Meryl? Yeah, Umbra, what's your strength score? Lower than that. Then, nope. You two can't lift it. It's heavier than the combined effort of the both of you. 
I'll do it then. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> Characters with a combined strength score of 33 or more can lift the door. Yeah, I don't think any of us can get to that. Combined. <coughs> or if you get in there. My strength is 8. Every little helps. Yeah. I do not want to go... We can just go back the way we came through. Okay. And besides, there's the nice smell of wine, so I mean... I'm actually gonna be conservative of spell slots and crawl through. Rip Umbra. Maybe go on back. There we and go. prestidigitation the wine stains out of my clothes. <laughs> I don't even do that because I like the smell. Uh, I can't really time for her. So. Does the Emerald Health require. Yeah, it requires you. Uh, so, are we heading further down? There's nothing here. Well, we came from there. There's no, yeah. There's nothing. There are no other doors, right? Nope. Uh, I don't except think so. Except the big one. There are no other doors except the big one. <coughs> I suppose you go down after you, Mercy. Which way is down? <laughs> You're heading down to layer 3, this way is down. I would point out, did, did they check any of the other wine ways from that room? Good point. Do you want me to send gas to check them? Would be delightful. I do so. Um, Kaz pokes his head into one and sees what seems to be a weird made out of white. He flies oh, off. A wine weird. Yep. I want one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm stuck in the wall and I don't know how. Good job. It won't matter once you're off this floor. Hang on, let me show you the beautiful, beautiful yeah. token. They are. I've oh, seen the beautiful token. It do you have a any beautiful at all. You have a beautiful, beautiful <laughs> handout. No. <laughs> it has no artwork. Of course, I, mean, I don't have a heart. Of course, I don't have a handout. Uh, any of the other two pathways? Or do they all just connect to the same? Uh, what do you mean? Oh, the wine bit. Uh, each of them has a wine they, weird in it. Yeah, they only lead to a like that. Bathtub? Is that a vat? Yeah. That um, contains big rests rests of wine and those strange wine weirds. Those weird wine weirds. I've never seen those before. That's very interesting. I wonder how we did that. Can we eat one? I don't think you eat wine, do you? Well, you'd eat that, I guess. Uh, can I get a marching order for going down the stairs, please? I am having at least two, if not three, people in front of me. I am going right behind Zakaria. For two reasons. Protection and nice views. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is what it means to be a true gentleman. <laughs> I know, right? Of course you go through the door first. After you. I'll go first. Give it a moment for it to load. Yep, with pleasure. Just for a while, it was just wait. Okay, you descend down the stairs, and you can see on this level there appears to be strange purple mold sprouting from the floors, walls, and ceilings. The mold smells like rotting corpses, and occasionally releases clouds of spores. Meryl, can as I, you step forward, it can I uh, can I check that thing? Give me a moment. Uh, Meryl, as you step forward, it seems like the moss nearest <coughs> to you has grown eyeballs and is looking at you. Go for it. Wave at it. 
I poke okay, the that's... eyes. That's I, a give, I give it a put on bees into the eyes. That's a ni 19 plus 9, 28. Whether it's arcana or nature, doesn't change anything, this is... same result. This is alien, you've never really come across this before. The only thing you can think is something not Actually, of this. No, nature, I don't have that. Is, is something not of this plane is causing this to be created? Does it seem dangerous? That's a stupid question. This is. This is Zerax, please. Do I need to go and get my clip from Starship Voyager if that's a stupid question? Yeah, no. It could be. It might so not Meryl, be. So Meryl pokes at it? I poke the eyes. Give it uh, four bees into the eyes. Uh, the eyes retract away from you and you get the distinct impression as if the others are giving you the stink eye. <laughs> I would not do that if I were you. Yeah, it was amusing the first time. Are you telling me this is your second? No, I'm what? meaning I'm not going to do it again. Okay. Uh, Ghost Grin can't see apparently. Oh. Strange. Uh, oh right, this is your unfixed token. Uh, uh, the plaque on the wall is there, by the way, Meryl. Give me a moment. I'm juggling something. I am trying to avoid the thingy. Liz. Yeah, that's easier said than done. Um, does Ghost Grim not have a... Trying. Ghost Grim does have a token. Game, please. There we go. Can you see now, Hobbit? Uh, nope, and there was two of me. <laughs> My vision is still only five foot. Okay, give me a moment. Uh, Ghost Grim, let me permanently fix your token. Oops, I need to swap out that one for... Whatever. I'll deal with my PC tokens page later. Uh, I'm surprised that Moral hasn't instantly tried to destroy it. Hasn't tried to what? Destroy the moss. The gunk. Uh, uh. Sorry, Alvin, give me a second. I realised what I've just done. I forgot to update that. the default token. I mean, I kind of gotten the impression that... Yeah, you don't just attack randomly at stuff. In here? Outside? Fine. In here? Ha ha ha, no. Uh, that better hobbit? Yeah, said let there be light. <laughs> <laughs> and there was light. Yep. Lots of light. And as you walk uh, past Marl, the eyes blink at you. The eyes start what looking at me. They blink at you. I think they're lucky. I make a, I make a, like I make a pouty face and I go. Bleh. You get the impression they're giving you the stink eye again. <laughs> of course. <laughs> it's like, go away. Pretty much. Okay. Um. Sorry, I have food in my mouth. Give me one second. It's okay. How dare you? Oh. Yeah, the hallway. Yeah, down the hallway. Two hulking figures stand in alcoves along this long hall, facing each other. Armor is bolted to their flesh, and they wear bucket helms and spike gauntlets. Iron collars around their necks are connected by a spike chain that stretches across the corridor. And the plaque on the wall reads, Walk through water with weapon in hand. Slake your shadow at the font. The vulture is the first step. Write the gods. The walls of history tell all. <coughs> Walk through water with weapon in hand. Well, me and Meryl don't have weapons. So if I possess him, he's technically my weapon. 
cow. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can resist. I mean, I mean, it all comes down to what you define to be a weapon. I mean, I do find my own body is a weapon to most things, but I don't think this qualifies in this circumstance. Does that mean I have to press it? Press to digitate fire at all times while we're walking through the water. How is that gonna work? Have you not got a staff? Do you guys not have daggers? Frankly, I have nothing except the literal skin on my bones when I escaped. Well, so no. you this is an understandable. I do have one dagger actually. No, I have two. Hey, Meryl. Hmm? Catch! Oh. Go make, for an tackle, make an attack roll, make an attack roll, make an attack roll. Actually, no, do it. Do it. Do it. He has catch missiles. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm doing it. Because monks. I can certainly say that a 25 would hit. Uh, I need to just see if deflect missiles... If you're hit by it, reduce the damage. Okay, so what's the damage? <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna roll damage, okay. Um, I would say I don't have to roll to catch that. But there's how much I reduce it by if I catch it. <laughs> you do not heal from that. Uh, it reduces it. It reduces the damage. Yep. Yeah. It, it, it uh, was, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but you don't get to reduce it to minus 14 or... Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You don't take oh, negative shit. damage. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna remove a dagger from my inventory, hold on. Oh, Meryl, you gonna have a dagger. I do have another dagger, actually, so yes, I do. I said, Meryl, you now have a dagger. Oh, cool. Where did Meryl, you get all these daggers oh. from? From you. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Again, I, I the would guy say that was before you. And after you. <laughs> Please let him roll like like intelligence to see if he rem like remembers the design of the dagger or something like that. Well, I mean, I have no idea who this chance person is. No, I, I think I taught. I sincerely think I took that dagger from your dead body. <laughs> oh, from my own. Oh, from Meryl's. Yes. Oh, it could be. Meryl would remember if it was. <clears throat> or you could have taken it off of. Chance who took it off Meryl. Because I'm pretty sure Chance grabbed everything there was to grab on Meryl. Yeah, yeah. I started Chance with 20 and then went, oh, another dagger, and went to 21. <laughs> where I took Meryl's. Wow. Yeah. I'll say for the fun of it, it's Meryl's dagger. Ah, you kept my dagger. Of course I did. Inside your, no, I don't. I have no reason to see him lying there. So, which way first? I'm gonna just peek around this corner. Okay. Uh, no, I'm not. <laughs> uh, um, yes, you are. Doop -doop -doop. A huge carving of a snarling jackal's head protrudes from the wall at the end of this corridor. A chamber is visible through the gaps between its fangs. Can I just crouch down and try and look through the gap at back here? Uh, not from where you are. The gap between the teeth are only two inches wide. Oh. I'll just tell them what I see and then head back. Hi. Kaz doesn't have vision at all, Mia. Let me fix that. You have to fix that on every layer. Shush. <laughs> Maybe we should go down to layer four and make me fix it there. What did you see? There was a uh, jackal's head sneering of some kind. Uh, it looked like there were some gaps between the teeth. I see that. I see those. Yeah, I've already described that corridor to you. No, no, those. Yeah, I've described that corridor to you. Yeah. 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 True, yeah. True, 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 true. Yep. <laughs> but that didn't warrant tokens. <laughs> It didn't, but I'm putting them there just so you, you guys remember that there are two armoured figures in those alcoves. Mm -hmm. 
They're not hostile yet. Yep. They're not hostile yet. So is there anything from... I can't see anything of the template that might offer assistance in these things. If I... If I'm correct in visualizing this, the chain, it connects them both to each other and it's attached their collars, right? Uh, yes. So there's a chain basically draped across Across the corridor between them, yes. Do you think we have to uh, limbo under this <laughs> thing? As a side note, you think that if the eyes had a mouth and popcorn, they'd be eating it right now. <laughs> Suppose I'll squeeze past. I'm trying to see something from the hints, but... If I without... Strike your shadow at the font. I do not see any font here. If without worries, Not also. every room has guidance. You. Now, here's the thing. I would take a peek, but I have a wizard hardy in front of me and a ghost facing straight through me. I'm kind of envious. Feel free to pass me by. Okay. <laughs> I think I'm gonna shoot an arrow through the corridor. Okay. Does anything happen? No. Did you see something? This is all dim light, isn't it? Um, the heck there is shit. no light. So it's all darkness? Yes. That's the the heck? I could try and... Fucking monks. I could try to shadow step my way across, and if these things start activating, we then have someone on the other side to flank them. Hold on. Or someone on oh, the other God. side to be stuck behind them and to die there. I should be able Better to you than me. You're pretty sure that if the eyes could place bets, they would be. They seem very, very amused. Look, if you want to go spread through like the... Uh, oh, right, yeah, bit. there's ten eyes in each patch. Exactly ten in each patch. Yep. At oh. all times. Mm. At all times. Even when some of them move, at all times there are ten. Alright, I'm gonna shadow step to this square here. Okay. You just teleport, don't you? Yes. Okay. I wish I had something to blind people. And... <laughs> to your north, a four-column portico juts out from the far wall, beneath which a stone sarcophagus rests in a wall recess. Four ceramic frog masks hang in niches around the sarcophagus. Beneath the masks, humanoid bones are strewn across the floor. To the east, a large carving of a tentacled frog monster squats above a shrine. Offerings lie on a shelf before it. Four rectangular frescoes adorn the adjacent walls. The hiccup, the sorry. Brothers. What the, the description of that room then? Just from over here. There is also a set frog of doors. A frog monster, you said. Kubazan, yep. Uh, isn't Meryl possessed by uh, Kubazan's enemy? Uh, yes, Papa but Zotl. Papa Zotel has no guidance to give about this room. Probably just okay. seething anger. Okay. I have been checking. Okay. Do these things, uh, these things here look like the creatures yes. that have been chasing us around? Yes. Have you encountered these things before? Wait, we all have. Yep. A bunch. They attacked you during your long rest. Mm. <laughs> 
Do you want to try and get the jump on them first? Well, we might get away with it. But, are you really sure you want to do it, though? We have destroyed the hurt anyone, but if, if they there's are any way... not attacking... <clears throat> just worried for if any, in case they do. We could just go to the next lair. Why are we doing that? What are we looking for? Skeleton key. Don't mind the DM. I didn't say anything. We did find these. Also, e also, each of the gods that you have inside you is encouraging you to seek out one of the nine gods for each member of your group, although not their rival. Obviously. How high is the chain? Uh, the ceiling is... Uh, just the chain. Oh, the chain, uh, I'd probably say it's about knee height. There's okay. a bit of slack in it. If you want to jump rope over it. Yeah, I guess I could try. Anybody else? What? If you want to be foolish, go ahead. Do you really want me to try, though? You no. No? Have I did. We need try. the rest of you across here, don't we? Go for it. Why? <sighs> Knee height, you said? Yep. Nice. <laughs> Watch your AC. Not high enough. <laughs> because they both punch you. Yeah, not high enough. Uh, both of those are going to hit. Uh, give me a moment, because now I've got to grab my D8s. Uh, the first one does... Five... Uh, nine points of bludgeoning. Plus nine points of piercing. So that's eighteen. Second one, yeah. Second one does sixteen points of bludgeoning. Plus eight points of piercing. Forty-two. Yep, forty-two. That's dings. So, oh my gosh, um... Is he on the other side at least? Um, yeah, I'll allow it. I'm gonna have to get everyone to please roll an initiative. Hold on, let me just do some cogs. <laughs> that wouldn't have been class a surprise round, would it? Uh... Before you no, because anything, you're all aware of each other. Before of... Before anything, though, which one of them attacked first? Uh, I'll say this one hit you slightly first. Okay, because I uh, I punish it. Okay. This one seems to absorb your fire. So, initiative is going to be <coughs> Mercy, Sicaria. Not yet. Oh, yep. Uh, we're missing the Tabaxi Hunter. No difference, no. Copper doll. We're missing her. It's not even on the map. <laughs> yep. Hush. That's why we're missing her. The initiative is going to be Mercy, Sicaria, the Tomb Guardians, Meryl, 
ghost grin, moral, copper. So messy. Okay. Oh, oh, I'm gonna get a bit further away in that. What? So I can see it? Yeah. <clears throat> um, gonna shoot it. I'm gonna hunter's mark this one and shoot it. Which one? Um, bottom one. Bottom one. Okay. Yeah, that hits. Nice. One point of damage. Yep. Okay. Second attack. That misses. Okay. Sicaria. So far, oh, it's nothing. Back. Yep. I will attempt to ray of frost it. Oh. Which is an attack. Um, ranged attack. Uh, 11 plus 9. It does hit. And that one does... These things are AC 17, I'll tell you now. 2d8. Yep. Yeah, I'd say Moral could have gone a little farther away, yeah. Yeah, uh, 9 cold damage and its speed is reduced by 10 feet until the start of my next turn. Okay. Does it seem to do more or less damage than... Uh, nine cold, you say? Yep. Okay. If I need to make, like, a perception check or an insight check or something to try and determine if it seems to do damage you, or not... You think you see the chain shine with black light, and it seems like both of them took an even split of the damage. As Moral wanting to have gone further than just <laughs> that, <laughs> by the way. You say it out loud. Uh, I'm saying uh, you could have moved further. Who, me? Yes. Yeah. Uh, so which one was it you there. Ray of Frosted? Uh, the bottom one. Okay. So what, like there? Uh, I'd say you can move probably 10 feet more. I haven't had my movement yet. Yeah, but combat. from the from yeah. before the combat. Yeah, because they punched you as you were jumping through. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. I'd say you could 25. step. Yeah, I'd say you would have been able to get to about there. Yeah, I had a chain to step over to. Yeah, I'm just checking some. Okay, apologies. And that brings it round to the tomb guardians. 5, 10, 15, 20 can get to there. That one can get to there. And they're both going to make two attacks. Uh, for one to the south is going to make two attacks at you, Moral. One to the north is making two attacks at Meryl. First one misses against you, Moral. The second one is a natural 20. Still waste his best yep. So that's five. Seventeen twenty that is twenty one points of bludgeoning. I'm down. Yep. Let me just total the damage. Plus ten nineteen points of piercing, total of forty. That's not double your max while unconscious, is it? Do you no, want to not. repeat that? Uh, what's your 42, max HP? 42 did not kill him earlier, 60. so no. Okay, then no. You are just unconscious. I'm just going to put myself at zero, or do I put yeah. my... <coughs> yes, zero. Zero. You, you it's can't just actually go negative. Yep. Meryl, two attacks in you. Those are going to hit. First attack does... Uh... <laughs> Nine, 11 bludgeoning plus 7 piercing. Out of 18. Second attack does 9 bludgeoning. 
plus five piercing. <coughs> Fourteen total. Right. You're up. Um, how is this one looking? They both look fine. Mm, okay. Um. They've had one ray of frost and one point of hunter's mark. Focusing the one that's been damaged here. They've both been damaged. Oh yeah, they're sharing health. I'll continue the one that's got hunter's mark though. Mm -hmm. um, first strike. Hits. Six. Okay, it's maybe it's take three. Second strike. Yep. Or eleven. AC um AC seventeen. Right. Okay. Um I will attempt to do the last one as a stunning strike though. It's probably gonna pass its DC fourteen. DC fourteen calm. Uh Yes. Yep. On the dice. Doesn't even need its mod. Sorry. Um. Oh god. I'm gonna dodge. I'm, I'm gonna spend a key point to take the dodge as a bonus action. Okay. Go through. I will take the five. Forward barrel. If my roll 20 would actually work. No moral, it's because your name's over the token. Get up <laughs> before you idiot. Yes, that one. Yep. So I get 12 HP. Yep. Yep. I guess I'm still prone though. Yep. You can use half your movement to stand up. If I that's all on your turn, go screen. Mm -hmm. Yep. Half your movement to stand up. Uh, let's see. I feel a misty step incoming. <laughs> I don't know why. Yes. Because I can't do anything, I don't want to be hit by attacks of opportunity or anything like that. I'm gonna miss the step the shit out of there. Okay. I do not want his heal to go to be for naught. Okay. I measure how far I can go. On my damn tool. But. And then I'm going to uh, firebolt, I guess. Can I firebolt Are you sure? the chain? Can I oh, firebolt the, the chain? chain? Okay. Yeah. Is that yeah, a that hits. Okay, you seem to have damaged the chain quite a bit. Although it seems like you had to do quite a lot of damage before it even started to actually feel it. Right. Damage threshold 10. Oh. Copper Bell. Can she even do anything? There is something she can do. Can I say a word before I pass yeah. off the... Talking's a free action. Did I also observe the thing about, you know, damage being split about that? Yes. Zakaria, do you have any, you know, area kind of spells to hickeys? You're gonna have a lot of fun with those. Not that many. How about Shatter? Yeah, there is a monk in the middle of them. What's Copper Bell doing? It is going to... If they can get past, is going to move their movement 
And the only thing they can do in this circumstance, use their help action. Next attack on this bottom one gets advantage. Okay, Massey. Right. I'm not gonna use the help action. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna shoot at it and see if I can do better with with my hunt. Shooting mark. the guardian, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that hits. Do you need that advantage? <laughs> Four damage. Okay. And. Yeah, I'll do the second arrow on the chain. Okay. Yeah, that hits. <laughs> you don't overcome the damage threshold. Hmm. Oh, it's been damaged before. Do I get Colossus? It's yeah. not a It is not a creature. Right. A although... Although I'll allow it. <clears throat> nope, that's still not enough. That is the exact threshold you needed to 11 you needed to 11 to break the chain yeah. you only managed 10 Sakaria I am not entirely sure that breaking those is a good idea Meryl are you good at dodging do monks have evasion at this Meryl is already dodging I'm yeah dodging yeah, and no, evasion I... yes fire away my love fire away uh, I am going to shatter in a way that will hit. <coughs> it's not Dex? Oh, right, it's, no. It's con. It is con. Fireball is Dex. But you yeah, know about I Fireball. <laughs> I don't have that prepared. No, don't use it either. Um. Um. Tough. Then I have already checked cold I'm going to keep experimenting and toll the dead the okay. bottom one it's a wisdom save oh god these are great at these what's the DC 17 <laughs> no <laughs> that's an 11 12 because it doesn't get a modifier to it oh 12 necrotic damage does uh, it damage them okay they each take six cool cool these, there's no resist, these ones uh, these ones are only immune to fire and poison the others have only been immune to fire uh, to lightning and poison and that rolls around to the tomb guardians uh two yeah, attacks at Meryl Yep. There. Two attacks at Meryl at disadvantage. <coughs> no. No. Oh, Two attacks at Copper Bellet. What's our AC? 14. It's probably going to hit. Second one hits. Oh my god. Praise the Lord. I rolled a. Uh, I rolled 13 and 24. Uh. That is 10 points of bludgeoning and 7 points of piercing, total of 17 damage to copper. Right. What weapons are they using? Uh, they're... Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, that and the chain is sort of wrapped around their arm and that's doing the piercing damage. Hmm. Well, there is no way that I'm doing enough damage in singular hits to break this chain. So... <laughs> Guess you're gonna have to continue splitting it. Yep. Stunning strike is pointless for me to do this. So. Yep. It hits. Uh, no, actually, no. never mind. Misses. You don't have advantage. No, I don't. Okay. So you take three. And. Yeah, I'm gonna dodge again. Okay. Why the fuck can't you guys deal an odd amount of damage? Ghost Grun. It's an even damage. 
even more cool. Because uh. one of them has one more damage dealt to it than the other, and it's annoying me. What are you doing, Hobbit? Um, I will be spite on Mercy's weapon. Okay. Moral. Does it does that constructs right? Yes. So I can't blight them. Damn it. I'll keep it simple. I'll keep firebolting the chain. Okay. There it is. What could possibly go wrong? That hits. That hits the chain. Uh. Actually, no. That misses the chain. Yeah, I figured as much. I just double checked uh, his AC. The chain has a higher AC than they do, what the fuck? That's because it's, uh, it's, it's thinner. That'll be why. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's harder to hit. True. Copper. Um, okay. I'll suggest this forward. Can they use the help action to give the next person advantage on the chain? Yeah. Do that. Okay. Mercy. All right, I'm gonna kill Copper Bell. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna bonus action lightning arrow. Okay. So just for a reminder. Okay. And I attack. Yeah. What are you attacking? Um, the one on the left. But everybody gets hit. Okay, so everybody has to make a deck saving throw. Yes. Listen, okay. Chain too, I guess. Doesn't it? Uh, the chain is not a creature. Okay. Although, although if you want though. to shatter the chain. E each of those creatures take lightning damage. Oh god. Yeah, no. Uh, oh no, no, I don't roll a save for that one. Uh, the top one does pass. So does uh, copper bar. Yep, copper yeah. passes. Uh, oops. Plus two. Uh, plus two because all damage is shared equally. I'm just splitting it. Uh, they did not seem to... Remember to they did not seem to light that lightning. Got, because they got hit each. So you know, just add uh... Each creature within 10 feet must make the deck saving throw. Yeah, but what I mean is, like, they both take the damage. Uh, yes, I have just been splitting the damage between the two of them. The 14 and the 8, so the total of 22 has been split to 11 each. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, Meryl takes no damage, Copper takes 4. Okay. Yeah, they did not seem to like that lightning. Because, hey, <laughs> swapping around fire aversion for lightning aversion makes them fun. Uh, are you not making a second attack? Um, yes, I am. Sorry. It's just uh, weird when I, I have... do. Oh, yeah. The smite. There it is. Nope. nope. I don't. Wait, is, that, is that against the <laughs> chain or is that against one of them? Either um, way, it doesn't get. Does... Yeah. It would hit oh, the yes. chain. Yes, it does. It would. <laughs> it would hit the chain. No it, no, it wasn't the chain. I didn't think of it. So Sicaria. Not. Um, I'm on a squish here. And uh, again, um, told I did. Okay, the south one. Sure. I'm just asking. I mean, I don't think it makes much of, much of a difference, but sure, the south one, uh, wisdom save. <laughs> That's a six. Eleven damage. Thank Not you, that. you have done an odd amount of damage. You're welcome. Okay, now they're back to the equal. Uh, I am gonna get back here. Okay, <laughs> that rolls around to the Tomb Guardians. They have disadvantage on all of their attacks this turn. Meryl, what's your AC? Uh, it is 17, I believe 17. That still hits. Uh, Second attack, no. Copper Bell is... 14. 
18. Hits with the first, misses with the second. So, uh, Meryl, damage to you is 15 points of blood chilling, 10 points of piercing, total of 25. Damage to Copper Bell is 17 points of blood chilling. Oh god. 9 points of piercing. Zero. Meryl. Oh, fucky fuck. Um. How are they both looking now? Ah, uh, fine. <laughs> They're not bloody yet. Getting close to bloody, but they're not bloodied. Something on this it is indeed a bonus action. Okay, yeah, because I'm gonna. Sorry, Carl, but I'm gonna need to GTFO. Uh, smack. No. That's gonna miss. Smack. Yes. Dealing. Oh, I hate That's you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's odd again. And uh, peering between them both. I am gonna Okay. There's no way I can look to the other side, is that no, I can't see the other side. I'm gonna shadow step out of here. I can only see to go to a point I can see, so it's only really there. Ghost gun. Uh Possessing Meryl. Sympathetic mending or tabaxi hunter. Well, my last Are you allowing one. the yeah, possession, Meryl? Oh, hell yeah. yeah. I have okay. no more healing. Okay, Copper is up with 15. And Meryl gets four. Moral. Again. Attempted no to break the way. chain. Attempted to break the chain. Okay. Yeah, that hits. I'd say, just in case it was a nat 20, try rolling the advantage. You're right, I had advantage. It hits the chain. Uh, let's, let's make it like this. I roll one more time. Yeah. Without, just normal, and I take the highest on it. No, it's, you roll once it, more. Your next result counts. Gotcha. No difference. <laughs> yeah, no difference. God damn it. Nope. That's the threshold. Copper. Yeah, I rolled low. Two and a three, I think. Two D tens. Somehow the chain seems to be holding on barely. It's a copper bell. Um, what's the movement? 30. Uh, so that's 60. That's normally 30 <coughs> because half. Yeah, uh, fill in agility, you remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then text About text half. Account. Yeah, half movement to stand up. Um, can't get her over there because people are in the way. Is fill in agility in action? Nope. Bonus action? Nope. Just as a thing, you just use it once in a turn. Um, yeah, half movement to kit back up. Action disengage. Okay. With the rest of the movement. I, I doubt you're going to let me get to there, are you? To where? Uh, oh. The. No. No. Because that's 25. Yeah, I can't get any further. Alright, it's just the there then. Mercy. Right. Are we finally getting out of here? I will note that they're... Nope, they're not bloodied yet. Uh, no, they are bloodied. Okay. I mean, right now I can finally shatter. Hmm. Okay, I'll 
I guess I'll shoot at them. At, actually, at the um, chain. Okay. I still do not think that is the best plan. Focus fire. Hits. I mean, they take double damage from the shatter, but. Uh, they no. just take normal. They just take normal no. damage because they both take it. Yeah, yeah, true. And then it splits. True, true, so, true, I mean, true, 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 true. It'd be normal damage if it's an AoE that hits both. <laughs> okay, and with that, the chain shatters. Right. And you yeah. see that their heads that were already focused on you just seem to lock in on the nearest one of you in front of them. Oh god, no! Sakaria. Uh, she has two, two attacks. Oh, yep. I have two attacks. Uh, is ha I'm just checking if Hunter's Mark is concentration if Raul 20 wants to. I think Hunter's Mark is. I think is. it is. Yes, it is. So it dropped. Oh? Because yeah. Lightning arrow. Oh. Lightning arrow. Um, yeah, no, I'm not gonna bother with the second attack. But I'm gonna step there. Okay, Sakara. Uh, I am going to shatter at third level. Okay. Actually, at fourth. Yeah, at fourth. Why not? Uh, so that's a con save. DC doesn't matter. Uh, they DC, fail. DC nineteen doesn't matter. They fail. <laughs> 3d8 plus 2 more d8s, it's 5d8s, I do not have enough d8s out, I believe. Do you want me to roll a couple of d8s for you? Nope, I'm good. That's, that's 3 8s, so Jesus 24, Christ. and a 2, uh, 26, and another 8! That's not possible! 34? Yup. Ow. <laughs> It's a good. Uh, it's thunder damage. Yep. Not lightning, sadly. Yep. It's a good thing that they were berserk anyway, because now I don't have to check. Ah. Uh. Uh, and I'm, um, I'm gonna. It's half. Oh wait, it's half movement to go through ally space, right? Yes. Difficult terrain. Yep. I'm gonna. I'm gonna move that away. Okay. Uh, first I'm tomb guardian. Stairs. Okay, first Tomb Guardian is going to make two attacks at Copper Bell. <coughs> yep, two attacks at Copper Bell. Uh, those both hit. Uh, how much health is Copper on? Not enough. Okay, uh, Copper is unconscious from the first hit. Two death saves failed from the second. Actually, let me check whether that second one would have been a crit. Nope. Because she went prone after the first one. Okay, the second Tomb Guardian is going to make its first attack at Copper. With advantage, she's now prone. And, yeah, dead. Copper. Yeah. Copper. I was just making sure it didn't somehow double nat one. Yep, Copper is dead. Second attack is going to be at you, Moral. A shield. What's your AC? 17 with shield. That's a 3 on the dice. <laughs> Are you still shielded though? Meryl. Alright. It's now or never. Rip Copper. So, Just pummeled into finish. oblivion. Yeah. Sort of break my neck a bit. First attack. Gas. Seven. Hits, Which one? Uh, the one closest to me. The one that I can actually hit. Okay. Uh, second hit. Oh, come on. Nope. I'm gonna regret this so much. Flurry of blows. Okay. Hits. Dies. Oh, come on. Dies. It dies. Oh, what, on the six? Yep. Oh, okay. and it, can I move forward? And... Or from the last hit. 
uh, from the six. Uh, you just, you just that, that helmet rolls off, revealing the face of a male tiefling with him. Oh, that's why they were fire resistant. Um, fire, fire absorbent. Yeah, I'll, uh, with the fact of my eyes around me, just gonna take the hit. Uh, I'll move forward. The eyes and the moss do seem amused. I'm just going to move here. Move forward and can I use my final hit? Yep, it misses. Oh, I was hoping to re-roll because that was actually against the first one. No, because you've already rolled it. Damn it. Go to him. Fine, go that way. Go to him. Roll 20 wasn't let me, letting me move the initiative for my enter key. 30 seconds, just put one of those. Can you remove copper belt? Because I can't see if it's like I can see anything or not from here. Thank you. Okay, I cannot see them. Okay. I am going to be very stupid and stop possessing Meryl. Abbevate the fall of the dead tiefling. It's about to see. No, the tiefling. Oh, the... you mean the guardian? Yep. You're going to okay. What? He's gonna raise it. the dead! Okay, what can you do with it? <coughs> um, I can use my movement to move the, this corpse at my move speed. It starts at one hit point and starts prone. Okay. You do as such? Um, it doesn't actually say what I can do with the creature, so I should make it stand up and bonk the thing on the head. Um, it doesn't actually say what I can do I mean, with it, but I assume I must be able to attack them. Possessing them, so I'd guess the same things you can do when you're possessing someone. Yeah, that's a fair point, actually. Yeah, that yeah, would make well, sense. I'll use my movement this turn then to make it stand. Okay. And then wait till next turn. If this thing survives till then. Moral. Mm -hmm. not. I guess I'll do the only thing I can do in terms of attacks. And go for that. Okay, magic missile. Uh okay. Yeah, it's looking rough. Mercy. Remove a spell slot from there because. Right. Um. How hurt does Meryl look? I don't mm. see the health. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> I'm gonna move there and level two cure wounds. Okay. Scarlet. Say good luck and go <laughs> go back. back where you were. <laughs> yeah, I go back where I were because I um Ash is a bonus action. Okay. <laughs> Scar you part rogue? No. I'm just a um I don't know my class anymore. <laughs> you a ranger. <laughs> yes, thank you. That I did not realize Rangers had that feature in mm -hmm. the UA version. I'm looking at it's the car, it's your turn. Oh, uh, well, I guess I'm gonna move back down the stairs because all I can see yep. is that one of them is yep. dead. Beginning at 8th level, you can use the dash action as a bonus action yep. on your turn. No, I, I believe it, <laughs> I just did not know it. As, as a um, matter of fact, wouldn't Sicaria see that well, there is that two that zombies first... standing and yes. Angren missing? Yeah, I would have seen Angren possess the other one, right? Um, ish. Ish. Yeah. Very cool. Oh? I don't well, know. I've come out that way and then I went in this way. 
It's a no. It's a it's no. A, uh, she, she okay. would move. Sorry, but why, where were you standing before? Where you are now? Top of the stairs. I was standing up the stairs there. Then no, you wouldn't. So she all I know is that it was really down and help. now it's back up. Yep. Uh -huh. And I'm sort of ignoring it and really facing down this other one. There is my bit body behavior, you can argue. Body language, even not body behavior. What the hell am I talking if about? If one gives the car an insight check. the fact that Moral has not moved away from it, you know. You do. Don't listen to them. If I lightning bolt, do I hit both of them and Meryl or not? Um, I would say yes. You would hit Meryl. It is a deck save though. It's five foot wide, correct? Uh, yeah, it's a five feet wide blast. Yep. Yeah, I'd say you would hit Meryl. A, yeah, is it's it a deck save. So is it, I is it half damage on save roll? Successful? It is, but he has evasion, so he takes no damage if he saves. Ah. If I save. And it, and if he doesn't yeah. save, he only takes half. Yeah. Uh, yeah. so it is. Yeah, if. Uh, it is a deck save DC seventeen. Uh, that is the wrong spell that I'm looking at, and eighty. Eighty six. Okay. I'm also Not concerned really. about Hobbits. Yeah. But I don't know. You do. Don't listen to them. Meryl passes. Am I going to make this thing do a deck save or is it going to do it itself? Uh, no, it doesn't matter. It's on one health anyway. Yeah. <laughs> well, it matters for how much damage you take. True. Um... I'll roll the. Uh, neither of them pass. That's four and a one. Not that it matters. The other one was on one HP as well. Really? Yeah. <sighs> Is there a no level spell for that? Mercy attacked rather than killing it. She can't kill it. I cannot kill it. I you would have to use a spell. Oh, true. You have plus one arrows, right? Yes, I would have to use a plus one arrow. Uh, 31? 31 damage. Yeah, because Grant the takes... Uh, both of them failed their deck saves. So you take 15, what? Ghost Grin. Uh -huh. Sorry! Sakaria doesn't know! And nope. they die again. I'm building up a profile in my head about you, it's fine. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, Sakaya doesn't care. You're at strike three. Sakaya <sighs> doesn't care. But she also didn't know. And, and when it falls and she sees you in standing there, she goes, oh, oh. When this thing goes down, <sighs> I pop. I <laughs> did not it. know you could do that to dead bodies. You have daggers in my eyes staring at <sighs> Does that mean you could do it again? Could I do it again? Yeah. The corpse Does... at my feet is destroyed. How about the other one? I could do the other one. Oh, uh, the other one. Scenario, and I will slap her. It does, but it doesn't mean I don't do it. Uh, it a, the other one. I feel a little chill. Other one. The helmet rolls off the other one as it falls, still kind of jerking from the lightning bolt, and you see Chance's face inside. Excuse me. Chance's face uh. is inside the other one. Hey, 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 Meryl, this is Chance. I'm in the middle of like, <laughs> you keep telling you about. I, I'm in the middle of sort of like putting the Tabaxi's arms like down, sorting the body out, putting it in some sort of respectable manner. As they say this. You're telling me that you were travelling around with one of these things. Not one of these things. No, I'll point out like that you can tell right? that they've been constructed from body pieces. You think on the one that Chance's head is on you can see one of Cora's legs. 
have core zombie. Uh, point actually. Uh, well, we had core zombie. You think you can see one of Meryl's legs? Left her in. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, rooms. Yeah, no. You think you can see one of Meryl's legs? And the other one seems to have one of the goat's legs. Is that yours, Meryl? Uh. See, I did not take everything. But apparently, <laughs> chance did. No, you just left out the big. The, the Appa bad apparently, chance really did ev take everything you had. Oh. Sorry, that's not a comment she would make. This is grossly disturbing. I have to agree with that. <clears throat> that was good. I say, I guess we're gonna find Copper Bell soon enough, too, right? Well, if we can stay secure for 10 minutes, I can uh, cast a spell on three of you that will allow you to take a small nap and feel better. I can use catnap on three people. In ten minutes, you get the benefit of a full rest at the condition you're not woken up. I'll so that is, if Mercy and I can make sure that for ten minutes you are not woken up. I sit down and I lean on the fence and I go. Maybe you want to go somewhere without the moss. I wouldn't care oh, less. yeah, the moss is watching you. Yeah, I've never had problems with people staring at me anyway. And some of the moss near you spits out some spores. I don't Definite, like spores. Definitely like moving that. away from the from the thing. We can maybe go back yeah. to upstairs for a minute. Oh. Uh, for well, for ten minutes. Let's do I'm that. Gonna, I'm gonna already ping the spell because I'm on the spell page, but I'll cast it when. Uh... Let's do that. Well, well if you 20. keep going down or try and find somewhere that would be safe. Uh, I think we're gonna go up, actually. I'll just do that in the stairs. Sure. And I stand up the stairs and you stand down the stairs from them? Yeah. Why is it not pinging? Roll 20, please. No, wait, I want the upper ground. <laughs> no, I Mercy want wants the high ground. There you go. Yeah. Got it before you. Okay, it's probably not. Yeah, thank you. It's because okay, you I have to know. choose what level to cast it at. Really? Yes. Indeed. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have to. Because you can target an additional creature for each high oh, level you cast it at. at hi yeah, because at higher level thingy 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 thingy, okay. Higher level thingy, I mean what? You will get a prompt that will ask you what level you want it at. Yeah, 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 but it was showing up beneath my character sheet actually, so. <laughs> because we're all 20. So you guys a short rest on the stairs. Yeah, but when I click on it, I ha I need to have it open. Yep. So you guys are well, catnappy on the stairs. Yes. No. Maybe potato. Yeah, I believe like over here. Okay. You do as such, and that's where I'm gonna call a quick five-minute break. Uh, do does it get in not interrupted, and they can roll their? It is dice? not interrupted. I rolled a natural oh, one when I checked. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm gonna be right back and grab myself Graham another can of coke. Up to you a tiny bit. Who did you cast this on? Uh, only three of you are uh, who are hurt. Mercy and I are fine. Can this be called for me? Uh, it's a creature. Hmm. If we're willing, does it overwrite the whole sleep thing? Because half elves can't unconscious. be half elves can't be magically put to sleep. Yeah, mm. but it's not put to sleep. It's you fall unconscious for this uh, the spell's duration. 
I am true. Yeah, true. I'll allow it. I mean, it's not healing spring, so it's not all that broken. They still have to use hit dice and all. Do I get this as well then? <laughs> I yes. Can't do <laughs> yes. It's unconscious, not asleep. It is technically different. Right. It's like it's like if you went unconscious during a fight, you wouldn't say you were asleep during the fight. You'd say you'd been knocked the fuck out. We be right back. Get another can of coke. Right. I'll also be right back. I'll take a five minute then. Be right back. I am low on the level spell slots though. Be right back. One hit die left. I'm gonna get up my key points back. I have no healing until we have a list, and I'll be right back. I wonder if I can get away with the fact that I could be attuned to this. It's a short rest. You had it on. Oh yeah, I thought it was. It literally stayed an hour. No, it, it is genuinely short rest. Yeah. I think it is. Yeah. Yeah. Attempt attuning to an item requires a creature to spend a short rest focus on. I mean, I'm unconscious, unfortunately. Yeah, you cannot find. I'm back. Can I attune to my amulet of health in this time? Um. Let me look at the wording of catnap. You gain the benefit of a short rest, so. Yes. I need to look down my original constitution. It's 14, in case I will lose it. Don't worry. The only way you'll lose it is when you die. Again. Oh, fuck. Mm -hmm. Do you remember how much uh, damage I took when my health dropped? My max health dropped? Um, I think it was five? Why? Because I was meaning to note down my bio here, but apparently it didn't save properly. I think you lost five. Just going 76. Wait, right. I thought it was Moral and Copper that took yes. the reduction. Yes, it was Copper. I got hit, like physically hit and drained once. Oh, um, by the white. Yeah. I think it was five. I'll have to increase that whenever I... Just in case, you know, Meryl actually survives. Extra constitution here does increase my hit point max, right? Yes, as if you had it at first level. So, so that is how constitution increases work. Just making sure in this whole shenanigans of team annihilation. Yep, increases your max HP. Oh. Hang on. You've had your max HP drained, haven't you? Yeah, now, how do I interpret the wording? A humanoid whose hit point max is reduced can't increase or restore it. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. How do I interpret that? Yeah, it can go either way. <sighs> mm -hmm. What's the problem? Meryl's had his HP max drained. Yeah. A humanoid with hit point max is reduced can't increase or restore it. This is true whether the creature's hit point max is reduced by the soul monger or by some other life draining effect such as the touch of a white wraith or a similar creature. 
Level ups are called out as an exception in some of the guidance that I have. Well, let's see. If we level up and get a con increase from level up, we still get those hit points. Hmm. That's well, how I'd con increase is but... not. It's not. Yeah. HP. It's not. It's not restoring the or HP that was. I will repeat the quote. Is it hit point max? Hit point maximum is reduced. Can't increase. Or restore it. Oh, right. Even from leveling up? Uh, level ups are called out as an mm. exception. It's in the it's... Adventurous League guidance, but they're called out as an yeah. exception. It's up to you to decide if that getting the con, con mod is like getting it from a level up or not. I mean, the con mod has no immediate effect, it's just in case of a... No, uh, if your con is higher, your HP is higher, because your HP does count contain yep. your mod, your con mod. Yep. It increases oh, if your con went... It... Only at... Nope. Level it's retroactive. Oh. Con increases are retroactive. Oh! Oh, I messed up. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Did you raise your con and not... Yes, of course, back. everywhere. Amber? Mm -hmm. Not here, but everywhere else. I know what my reading of that sentence is, now I look at it again. And your HP maximum has been drained by a white. Well, I told you how I would do it, but your game. Hmm. The the tier way thing that the ruling gets really funky in these type of exceptions. I can argue both sides really. Mm. Like. Yeah, you can argue this is a level up. You can argue this is technically an increase. I'm... I'd say ask Chris Perkins, but he's too busy traumatising his players by implying they're married right I now. I think Chris so... Perkins has gone back to work. Possibly. Uh, I'm going to say... Since you brought it to my attention, I think I'm going to have to say that you don't get the increase. I... Sorry, bud. I think Sorry. I think that's how the death curse is meant to work in tier where you don't get the increase. You can always ask on Twitter later if you want to. Yeah. But for now, yeah, it's all right. I am actually going to treat, uh, treat, tweet, Chris traumatizer. We're still missing there, aren't we? Right. Yeah, probably. Okay. Honestly, unless you guys get into another fight, we can pretty much just say that he's taking a slightly longer cat nap. Most I don't want to just sit here for ten minutes. So. He can step back in when he gets back. We will pick up where we were, with everyone except Moral waking up from the cat nap and Moral just kind of snoring. At this point, we might as well. How I would say what I'll kind of spend 
trust our friend Mercy does not have a um God she uh fingers air quotes. You get the impression of a raspberry in your mind from Obo. <laughs> Her mind yet. Out of character. We have one spare. I want this one. <laughs> <laughs> Which one? The one oh, she's oh. not giving me. <laughs> what <laughs> evil one? <laughs> oh, you want Nang Nang? Mm hmm. I. If you say that. <laughs> She wouldn't. <laughs> then I'm sorry, I have no reason for which Sakaya will give you that pearl. Right. <laughs> Let's continue then. Okay. Uh, there is a doorway at the end of the hall, and let me repeat the description of this next tomb. A four column portico juts out from the far wall, beneath which a stone sarcophagus rests in a wall recess. Four ceramic frog masks hang in niches around the sarcophagus. Beneath the masks, humanoid bones are strewn across the floor. To the east, a large carving of a tentacled frog monster squats above a shrine. Offerings lie on a shelf before it. Four rectangular frescoes adorn the adjacent walls. Fresco 1. Uh, fresco 1. A frog-like behemoth uses its tentacles to help the Omoan people knock down a mighty statue. In the foreground, an old woman wearing a frog mask tosses five coins from her hand as though sowing seeds. Fresco 2. A frog-like behemoth wraps its tentacles around a giant crocodile as Omoan hunters stab the crocodile with their spears. In the foreground, an old man wearing a frog mask holds up a bug to his open mouth. Third fresco, a frog-like behemoth with four Omoan hunters riding on its back finds a small boy in the jungle. The hunters seem elated. In the foreground, a young woman wearing a frog mask holds a knife in one hand and a headless chicken in the other. In the final fresco, a frog-like behemoth wallows in a shallow pool as omens offer it urns of food and treasure as tribute. Cracks in the fresco obscure the head of the human figure in the foreground, but you can see that it grasps a lit candle. Those will be posted into Discord chat momentarily. And there were frog masks on the on or around the uh, sarcophagus, was Yes. There? The alcove's right by the Sarcophagus. <coughs> okay, what's a behemoth? Uh, a behemoth is a generally just a big creature. It's a thing that we fought in the very first dungeon. Uh, to uh, shrine. Do you mean the frogamoth? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, a behemoth is generally a particularly large creature or construct, yeah. Okay. A frogamoth is basically just a play on words of frog behemoth. Yes. Okay, I'm back. Welcome, Welcome back. back. Welcome back. We've only just peered into the room, don't worry. Yep. Okay. The eyes are watching you. Uh, you guys don't have Shigambi, do you? No. Okay. Uh, Obo to you, Sakara says, I would advise trying on the mask, but I'm not certain. Uh, a search of the wall shrine reveals a six inch, stool, uh, yeah, six inch tall stone statuette of a frog moth, which weighs five pounds and has an inscription on its base in Old Omoan. A copper bowl uh -huh. containing rat bones, four dead cockroaches, a green wax candle with a salvageable wick, and five GP. Again, can you post, post that? And can I take some time to try and translate? 
the inscription? Yes, you take time to translate the inscription and it reads, Give thanks to me, as others have done since the dawn of time. I do believe that putting on the masks and copying the uh, the frescoes might work. Hmm. So someone's Sewing the uh, the gold pieces. Um, and one person not fulfill them all, just in order. Although I'm trying to add up the cup of gold. With the rough bones in. Obviously, trial and error goes to the headless chicken one, but there's a chicken and there's rough bones. Unless it merely needs an offering of a once living creature. that one puts me off the most. I point to the one with the, the uh, depiction of a frog mass holding a bug up to their open mouth. <laughs> what, after Oralonga? I would never have guessed. Mm. Try uh, the coins first. I suppose w there are several masks, right? Yes, there is one mask in each alcove. We can probably take turns. Leaning on the wall, I sort of gesture and bow my head. Lead the way, my dear. I'd rather not try first. I'll do the bugs. You seem to be the most experienced, is all I'm saying. I'll eat the bugs, but I believe we must. We should do them in order. And I am not starting. I don't see you. I will admit that I also do not want to be the one suffering the consequences if this is wrong. Do we really need to do that? We don't see any of those skeleton keys in here. I suppose we can walk. Frankly, I'm getting a buzzing in my head saying that he's not interested in this one. And how the hell are we supposed to get a chicken? There are the bones of a chicken. The bones of a rat. rat. Oh, a rat. That's what I was saying about how they don't add up. I mean, they have something in common. Do not want to try. We can move on. I suppose we should move on. Let's go. Sicaria, can I get an intelligence check from you? Sure. Because this is going. That's a, that's a natural four. <laughs> yeah, no. Plus okay. Five. Um, I mean, what's Sicaria's intelligence score? 20? 20. 
I mean, rats and chickens have something in common. They're both creatures, and there's a bowl. And the chicken in the thing was headless. So it just got the head of something. The rat skeleton seemed to have their heads. Mm. There's a reason it's a bowl. Yeah, but they do not want to do it. And I already have a thing in my head. Okay, if you don't want to try and solve it. Oh, my They all left. Sakaria would not stay in there alone. Fair. Okay. Okay. This door. Oh. Sorry. Uh, do you want to open it? Uh, let's check in for traps. Uh, yep. The outside of this door is carved with leering and laughing skulls. Make an investigation check. You don't see the traps, and they seem to be push doors. <coughs> I pull them, I push them. <laughs> you push the doors open, and inside, ten feet from the doors, a thick tapestry curtain hangs on water wall. Its embroidery shows a scene of merriment. Nobles feasting around a banquet table, a roast boar on a platter, and servants pouring wine. I'm gonna cast Mei Chen and try and tug on the tapestry. See if I can pull, push it one way or yeah, you, pull it down or something. Uh, you can pull it to the side. Revealing behind it, another curtain hangs behind the first, showing the same scene, but descended into depravity. The nobles fight with each other, partaking carnal encounters on the table, or sprawl on the floor in puddles of vomit. Charming. Is this, when, is this when I go ahead and say that the walls of history tell all? I thought that might have been from the last one. Not every room is on the plaques. I'm gonna use my Chen to push that one. Okay. Uh. A scene of horror confronts you. Nobles feasting on servants, eating each other alive, and setting fire to the hall. The roast boar is alive and laughing on its platter. And I'm going to... Nope. Nope. Okay. Just on me. <laughs> I 30 feet, right? This pretty much exact thing once. Working with nobles. Oh, that's actually out of range. Well, that final curtain's out of range for you. I don't have my chat. Okay, I do it. Nice. <laughs> Let's just say I've done it all this time. Just to make. to explain it. Nice. <coughs> well, I'm not rewinding the campaign, but noted. Okay, moral are you. I am standing here right now. To be fair, I have never once used Chalk and Grasp. I could pretend that I never had Chalk and Grasp and had Mage Hand. Okay, you're because pulling I've been the... using Mage Hand. You're pulling the final curtain aside. Yes. Okay. The and rotting head... Simple. The rotting head of a giant boar is mounted to the wall behind the final curtain. Fresh blood and gore spatters its tusks, dribbling down the wall beneath it. I am going to need Meryl, Sicaria, Moral, and Kaz to all make wisdom saving throws. This is a charm effect. Uh, is it a magical? Is it a magical effect? It is a magical charm effect. Hmm, it's a charm effect. I wonder if it's magical. Uh, I have a you, said, like three different you said, you said okay. wisdom, right? Yes. 
So it's a straight check for Sakaya, that's a 16, and I need to open up Kaz's sheet. I'm fine. Actually, I have advantage. That's a natural 20 for Sakaya. And uh, Kaz? Kaz... Does have advantage. Kaz. Kaz... Kaz is charmed. The rest of you see. for Kaz! On its turn, the charmed creature does nothing except approach the severed head and put its own head in the boar's mouth. What's Kaz's speed? 60 flying. Yeah. Kaz flies in. Rip my pseudo dragon. Are you going to try anything to try and grab him? I mean, can I? Uh, you can try and grapple him. How much is... Kaz's I can rate? certainly try. It's an athletics check, right? Uh, for Question. you, yes. Question. <laughs> it's a minus how, one. How much is uh, Kaz's weight? Ah, uh, he's tiny. So he usually he usually rests on more than ten points. pounds. God damn it! Well, that's a natural one on my grappling check, so yeah, might... this is going to be rip Kaz. <laughs> uh, what's Kaz's max health? Seven. I'm not even going to bother rolling. Uh, the jaws clamp down, and Kaz is decapitated. Well then. I'm sorry, me. It's okay. Sakaria is shocked. Karma for not keeping my body alive. <laughs> <laughs> Your body is in the back of holding. Hey, does that. Hey, could you reanimate that too? Just a question. I oh. could, but. It would be, it would, it would be useless. Cass's value was not really in his combat skills. Do you want to use your zombies in combat? I'm sorry, it man. Would ser it would serve no purpose. Oh, fair enough. Your choice. It would just be a waste of magic. I suppose. Do you want to bring him with you? Something? I would rather not step in that room. Well, I can't say... No about that, no. Uh, let me check one thing. Mm -hmm. Well, I just went a bit Scottish then. As mentioned, so I'm not can I, uh, can I firebolt the pseudo dragon's corpse so that it turns to ashes mm. and cannot be uh, used by anyone else? If you want to, yeah. I will do so. I am sorry, Cass. You've been a great companion. Rip cars. Rip cars indeed. So, are you just gonna press on then? Well, after all that. What's your you guys really don't want to give a try to this room. It feels like a waste. Which room is this? You mean this one over here? The, the one with the. The masks and oh, I saw it. yeah, that in chat. I wasn't back then. Yeah. I'm gonna read through it too. <laughs> Obviously, there's no key in there, unless you think. I don't know. Wait, 
Be right back. I'm gonna go grab one of the masks. Okay. I'm gonna put it on. Uh, let me have a look at the ticket <laughs> again. Uh, I'm gonna pick up the coins. Okay. And so. Throw them in front of me as if I was sowing seeds. Okay. Um. I mean, this room seems pretty straight. But I can't help you with picking things up. Yep. If you have a solution, feel free to say. Imagine Ghost Groom would try and at least guide. Well, the coins of Mira is done for the first. Yeah. Um, the candle for obviously the one is about. I... The... Oh, yeah, I will pick up one of the cockroaches and eat it. Okay. Go ahead, Hobbit. You started to say something, I think Mia cut you off. What were you going to say? Sorry. Yeah, the, the bug for the second one. The candle, you're kind of cutting out. Candle. No, it's just that he's thinking, I think. Yeah, I'm thinking, I'm not cutting out. Uh, the candle for obviously the grass candle one. I feel like I'm missing something. Why am I seeing um, four things for five? Uh, questions. the bowl. Yeah, I'm gonna. The bowl and the bones. I'm gonna take the bowl, gonna take my dagger. Uh, and uh, very dramatically, as it's not something that really you should ever do, but this is a game, so let's go theatrical. Uh, slash my hand, my palm, to get some blood in the ball. Okay. Uh, there are four riddles and five things. Well, what's the last one? A six inch tall statue of Bogomog which weighs five pounds in the description. Is that I'd a say it thing just or has, is that a... I, I'd say it just has the inscription, I think. So I wasn't here I'm doing it, I'm doing it, all, I'm doing it all, I'm doing it all in front of the... Okay. Uh, statue. The, the statuette and the rest were all on the shrine, the others are frescoes on the wall. Okay, I'm doing it all in front of the shrine then. Okay. Uh, and I'm gonna light. I'm gonna light the candle while the green wax thing. Okay. Uh, you hear a click from the sarcophagus, and the lid slides open. That was very strange. Okay. It's only the blood in the bowl that you guys got stuck on. Can I push the lid a bit more open? Oh, I mean, do you want to see what's inside? Yeah. Uh, inside appears to be a pair of braces of archery and 20 that look fairly brittle arrows in a rotting leather quiver. And there's also the bones of Kubazan's Frogomoth form. Mercy, you might want those braces. Not sure I do. Don't want anything in my hand. They are braces of archery. They will be useful to you. Still, I've seen what they've done to you. You yeah, it's not really that bad. talking to yourself. It's not really that bad, trust me. Just pick them up already. You're gonna need pretty much every single bit of power you're gonna be able to get here. For once I actually agree with them, to be fair, Mercy. Thankfully this thing has been rather quiet since I got it. 
Yeah, Wongo's not saying much either if it's not taunting me to go into battle with some stupid shit that's gonna kill me. Are you sure they're magical? Kubasan is chaotic good. Do you want me to... Do you want me to cast detect magic on them? Or identify? No, because that so would... You would need to touch them to identify. I would need to touch it for... Yeah, a... Kubasan is chaotic good. Which I would re relay to you. Yeah, that's a shame. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'll take them. Okay. Uh, as you touch them, the braces glow as a watery light ripples across the walls. A monstrous tentacled shadow rises from the sarcophagus, and the air fills with the stench of a swamp. A rumbling voice echoes through the tomb. You are brave to summon me. Together... We will crush the undying one. Can you make me a charisma saving throw, which you can choose to fail? <laughs> you succeed. I do. You are can not possessed by Koopasan. Yep, you take the braces of archery. <laughs> With my minus one. Wow. Wow. <laughs> um, the arrows and everything else in there look... Useless, right? Yeah. Twenty brittle arrows in a rotting leather quiver yeah. that may only deal one piercing damage and shatter on impact. Right, good. So it's plus two only on your damage. Yep. Once attuned. I'll also note once. that once that once attuned, uh, those particular braces which have carvings of frog moss adorning them. Keep your skin disturbingly moist. Hmm. But you don't know that yet. Yep. Not yet. <coughs> Get out of my swamp. I'm gonna start calling Mercy Fiona. <laughs> <sighs> Your nickname on Discord is short. <laughs> Can we go now? Yes, we may. I want to point out that uh, apparently the vulture is the first step. I get a sneaking suspicion. That's referring to these animal heads we keep coming across. Can we remove these? Please. Why? That one is destroyed anyway. Yeah, that one is destroyed. Why? Does it still take up space? Middle. No, you can walk over them. Alright. But Meryl made a point of, you know, posing Copper's body to be respectful. Uh, so, where are you going, kids? Are down they, or exploring? Are the eyes still looking at us? Oh, yeah. I expected. Hey! Trouble. Someone who is better than me at these things, can you just check that there are no secret doors around? Make me a perception check. I mean, do, I, I suck better. at them. The wand of secret done. does not work. As I'm walking around the edge of this place, I will have a look. Uh, okay. My perception is now. 11. Yeah, I gave it to you and we realized it didn't work. You don't see any secret oh, doors. Oh, yeah. You mean we don't see the secret doors? You don't see any. The secret doors Just, have disappeared. It was, wor it was worth, <laughs> worth checking. Yeah. So uh, the eyes are still watching you. Do you think they've gone back to we want popcorn mode? So, what's down here? I'm going to check the corridor for traps first. Make an investigation check. You do not see the traps or symbols of death. <coughs> Here, look, a corridor with a crawl space. With water at the end. I can see a crawl space of some kind, and I think I found where we need to walk through water with weapon in hand. 
Okie doke, I draw my dagger. Hey, do you think cows can make it through? <laughs> mm. I think I said anything. Meryl, you are... The you eyes are glaring daggers at you for Sicaria. My... The amnesia kicked in once more, like it's still affecting me. And then no disrespect with it. It's alright. The it's eyes are really definitely still, still giving you the stink eye. I've just been blanking those things out. I'm glaring at them. I'm surprised the pyromaniac didn't just destroy them immediately. Yeah, I got better stuff to do with my spell slots. How wide is this roll space? Let's just check something. Uh, uh, it's like the crawl space you went through earlier. Oh, I'm gonna regret this. I'm gonna go in just to the corner to see down. You see. Nope. Uh, ahead of you, the face of a snarling minotaur is etched into a sheet of iron that bisects the crawlway. Its eyes have been cut out, letting you see through the sheet, beyond which the tunnel continues. Minotaur, I come crawling out. Maybe check out the other, other way first? I believe so. I pull out my old dagger and keep it in my hand. Okay. I have my wand end. in one hand, dagger in, in the other. Okay. Bow out. Okay. Still puddles of water cover the floor of this 15 foot wide hallway. The walls are slick with moisture and set with murals showing animal headed humanoids in armour most of which appear to brandish real weapons hanging on the walls. A three foot high crawlway in the east wall is flush with the floor. The far end of the hall, a rippling transparent curtain of water fills a stone archway. Beyond the curtain, you see another hallway that looks similar to the one in which you stand. From, from south to north, I'm just gonna straight paste it into Discord. Uh, you have Stork-headed males with hand axes. Uh, please ignore my... Oh shit, I need to actually edit that note. You see nothing. You see nothing. Oh, that's not what I was looking So uh, looking at, so I did not see what you edited. Uh, you can see that. Not that Area 36 means anything to you. Nope. Uh, you have stork-headed males with hand axes, lizard-headed females with maces, panther-headed males with blowguns, unarmed hawk-headed females, goat-headed males with sickles, frog-headed females with tridents. Uh, what is Obo again? What's a Zorbo again? <laughs> Uh, Zorbo is kind of like a monkey. Right, I do not see anything that looks like a monkey on these walls. Meryl, what is... who is possessing you again? Do I even actually know the name? Uh, yes, you would know that he is Papa Zotto. He would have told you as much. Also, I'm pretty sure Mercy mentioned it right before we tried to peck out your eyes. Um, anyone has hand axes? Can we take the things Give from... Are, are the weapons on the walls actually able to be taken off them? Uh, make my perception check. Yeah, it looks like they've been painted in such a way to look as if they're actually holding the real weapons which hang from the walls. Hey, can I ask Obo who the goat-headed are supposed to represent? Uh, 
They're just probably just a animal from the jungle. There are occasionally goats. They're not representations of any of us. Hmm. To be fair, neither are are the Hawks lizards or the pan or panthers or lizards. Yeah. Storks is eh, frogs is mm. okay, you could argue Kubazan, but storks, I think Papa Zottel would get very upset with you. Okay. Eblises, not storks. Okay. Fine, fine. I then go, no offense. Hey, you're not the one that has to deal with them being pissed off. Interesting though that the unarmed orc headed ones. I'll do can fly. I don't even know what you're looking at. It's in the Discord. The description. Yeah, okay. uh, yeah the the figures on the walls opposite each other okay. are perfect reflections. I'll go and reach up the great uh, sickle. You... Uh, Aren't the sickles like where... Yeah, those... Yeah, that layer is the... Where you are, Meryl, is the hand axes. I guess I'll take a hand axe then, it's just the nearest one. Okay. I'll sheath the dagger and keep the hand axe in hand. Okay. Yeah, the tridents are the closest, the hand axes are the furthest. So you're in line with the hand axes. Do you want me to go fetch some more for you? Sure. I could just grab the trident, I guess. But I'm not technically in the room yet. I'll move forward to wherever the sickles are and take a sickle. Sickles are... Uh, hand axes, maces, blowguns, nothing, sickles. And tridents is one further on. Take a sickle and come back and hand it to whoever wants it. I'll take it. Hmm? She takes it, as I point out, Mercy. Okay. Now I'll take a mace, I guess. Bring that back. Hand it over to whoever wants it. Scaria. I do not even think I can carry that thing. Yeah. Is it heavy? Maces are, yes. Yeah, but is that particular mace heavy? Sort of. Do like a one-handed small bit of a juggle with the bit of the weight behind it. Maces are like two pounds. Four pounds. Oh, four pounds. Yeah, still light enough. You can mace hand it, can't you? Not I'll there. take. I'll take it. I'll take it. Yeah. I, I was gonna. Say, I was gonna say, but Dad, I wanted a trident. I'll go back and I'm get just... a trident. And come back. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, I'm not gonna ask. For and the trident over to, I guess, Sakara since she's the last one. Okay. So you, you give me the trident or Moro? You. Okay. I've just been, it's it's not a reference thing, I've just been getting any weapon and handing it to whoever. <laughs> okay. Me Meryl gave Sakaria the trident. He seemed to have no problem moving in and out, right? Yeah. I guess, that, I guess that's piercing damage, right? They're dried pools of water on the floor. Uh, well, they're puddles of water on the floor. It's not fully covered. Hmm. Yeah, still puddles of water cover the floor. Yeah, uh, is there like a drape or something? That's the wall of water. It's a wall of water? Yes. At okay. the far end of the hall, a rippling, transparent curtain of water fills the stone archway. Okay. Beyond the curtain, you see another hallway that looks similar to one in which you stand. So, 
with the weapons we should go through, hoping that those are the right weapons. We just hold the weapon in hand, it should be fine, I imagine. I'm curious of what's down there, though. I don't like these corners. Is it darkness in there? Uh, yes. It's a crawl space. Uh, yeah, I'll crawl in, but I'm keeping an eye on here to okay. shadow step to if I need to. Hold on. Hold on. You get this? Mm -hmm. Got this for you. Got this. I'm clicking a little bit. There we go. I right there. You can see. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> sure. It's angle that he can't see. He has dark vision. He How actually, he actually likes the dark. Yep. Uh, Meryl, okay, did, peering I around did. the corner, you can see a small dusty room. I just found the dazzle. Bear with a moment. I'm not going to be leaving this thing though. I'm staying inside while I just peek my head into the room. Small, dusty room. Looks like nothing has been here in a while. Right, I am not testing fate. I am coming back. Backwards. Yeah. <laughs> I see Meryl's butt coming out of the crawl hole. There was a... It led into about 10 foot by 10 foot room. There's another one of these on the other side of it. Dusty, and that's about all I can make of it. Sounds like a typical trap room. With yeah. Battle in it. Big ones. Not gonna do that. I mean, I don't know how much. But we could probably get about four of us in there. Five if you include Ghost Room. And Grim. I mean, you know, if we ma do manage to secure it, we could potentially find Sucker there. Perhaps. It's a tad good. We could try to hunker down if we want to take a long rest. Uh by a while, for clarity, like, months? It's been a long time since anything has been in that room. I'll relay that as well. Do we take the chance once was, we're done here? Was there something more than just the room? It was basically, I point to sort of the, the crawl space right here. It was one of these going in, and one of these going out. So there was and one way in, or one way out. Then there was something more further in, probably. On the other side, through another one of these crawl spaces maybe, but it turned a corner very quickly and I didn't want to continue exploring. I say, we check this this here out, as I point in that general direction. See what that is. When on our way back, we look at this thing. I agree. Okay. Still holding the mace, by the way. Okay. Yeah. So, which of you is trying to step through? I want to go first. Rock, paper, scissors? I'm sorry if I kill you, Boxy. Oh my god. You. God. <laughs> As we're like Rochambeau. Okay, ready? Uh, rock, paper, scissors? Or rock, paper, scissors, go? And then just shout out whichever one. Which one we're going for? Rock, paper, scissors, go, and then shout. Oh, okay. How the hell are we going to visualize uh, it? Uh, I'll do the rock, paper, scissors. Okay, yeah. And we just say what we want to go for. Alright. Rock, paper, scissors, go. Paper. Stop. I lost. I guess Meryl's going through first. Yes. Okay. Meryl, not Meryl. Uh, okay. <laughs> it was it was loser goes through. Yeah, Meryl, you attempt to step through, yes. and as you do, the water from the curtain erupts. I'm going to need Moral, Meryl, and Mercy to please make me strength saving throws. Sakari, oh. the water parts around you. Yeah. I do not 
not know why, but... Because you trident. have the trident. Yeah, but why is the trident good for me? Trident's, uh, well, Poseidon. Okay, <laughs> okay. Yeah. uh, Mercy, you managed to remain on your, well, uh, Mercy, you pass the save and remain where you are, you're not swept away by the force of the water. Uh, Meryl and Moral, you were each knocked to the end of the corridor, falling prone, and take uh, eight, 11 points of bludgeoning damage. That is below average. Uh, so, Mercy, you take five and are also not prone. Sakaria, the water parts around you. I can't argue this is being quote unquote four damage. <laughs> Why would it be four damage? It's a large force propelling me into a wall at high speed. No. It's how gravity works, right? No. <laughs> how much was it? Eleven. Um, Eleven. Can I pick up the other three, three tridents? Uh, there is only one other trident in this corridor. Oh. Why did you think there were four? I don't know. So much for rock, paper, scissors. Is weird. Two hand axes, two maces, two blowguns, two sickles, two tridents. Alright, um, if I stand here, the water parts before me, right? Uh, the water, once it's knocked there, once it's knocked the others away and prone, not mercy prone, uh, so Ghost Green, you will have taken two damage from that. Uh, the water flow stops and it just goes back to being a waterfall. Seemed like it didn't like them trying to walk through with the weapons they had. Alright, um, I'm gonna try and walk through. Okay. You. What happens if you just put the trident through, light stick the trident through? Uh, I was wishing to stay, like, in the middle of the... Uh, of the water curtain, and like raise up the trident up, up her head, uh, over my head. Uh, it, it won't be able to stop the flow, and there's still space either side that's flowing down, but you can walk through fine. Um, somebody take the other trident, goes back through, one of us comes back with oh, yeah. both of the tridents oh, yeah. give on, it to someone else. On this side, there are... Uh, this side is mirrored. So oh, there's, there's... more tridents here. Yes, it is It is mirrored, including the crawl space down here. Alright, I'm gonna grab the two, two tridents here and yep. walk back out, okay. uh, back the other way okay. and hand them out over to the others. So that everyone can have one. How fortunate there's four of us, now. I'm still very wet. Yep. I pressed the digital Phrasing. all away, away the wetness from my clothes. Phrasing. You got... I mean... You got another of those? I got another of those. I pressed the digitate the away the water from Meryl's clothes. I appreciate it. I, I can't get my... Token back to the other yeah, side. Because but dynamic lighting. Do. Yeah. Are we, are we just gonna take it and then go through? Well, no, I there's hand three you tridents total. The four tridents total. Sakari has I, one. I hand one. you the other three tridents. Ghostcrit technically does not need a trident. He just yeah. needs to possess somebody. Because he was possessing mercy. And I'm gonna look at Meryl and go, I am glad you decided to be humorous with me. As I uh, shake the trident in my hand. I will repeat, I had nothing to do with sheer luck, but you are welcome. Did I miss something? He gave me a trident because it's a bit forky, like a devil's fork. Uh I saw it do a scar go. I look tomorrow. She does not realize that I am the least racist of all, right? Probably not. Mm. But it doesn't matter. It's all in good fun. So are you yes. each taking a trident and stepping through? Yeah. We were handed them, so I would guess so. Yeah. 
I'm just going to pull that ammo lighting out of the way. Because with tridents, you can step through fine. Don't stand in my space, I think it goes right Oh, you're possessing me, okay. Yep, there is another crawl space. Well, this thing is not very it's also handy. A tunnel. I'm gonna uh, leave my. Actually, can I like put it on my back or something so that it's not in my hands? Yeah. Yeah. I hope it turns the corner and continues. Ah, bear with a moment again. Uh, and stop. Where there or the step before? With a loud grinding noise. This section of crawlway begins to rotate, instantly cutting off the exits ahead and behind. You can feel the passage sink about five feet as it turns. After no. a few seconds it comes to a stop and the grinding abates. No. As they just hear this going from the corridor getting quieter and quieter. Uh what well, Oh, okay, that's Ah oh, God, Raw 20, this is not easy to work with. So basically, this map is changeable. Oh, uh, France. I mean, all nine gods. Oh, right. Okay, I get what I need. Raw 20, please. Your dynamic lighting is not great. Sorry, I'm going to lock you in for a moment. <laughs> because dynamic lighting. You are now locked in this section of corridor. There is no exit at all. Nope. What's the it's material made of? Stone. Uh yes. There's no holes or anything. The tunnel is airtight. Maybe we could try and make, make another character next week. Walk through it to see if it's gonna move again. I investigate this end here. Nothing. End of a corridor. I wanna feel around everything I can. The entire wall. Of course you are. <laughs> Sorry. It's locked down, they're tight. Everything, ceiling, floor. Airtight. As in, like, no pressure plates, no. Nope. So, uh. You wanna go check him out? Angrin, you can face through material, right? That's something I've never tried, any. In. Yeah, it takes a couple of minutes and then you realise that Meryl isn't coming back. I mean, they did just hear me go, no, no. Oh, no, yeah. No. <laughs> and then silence. So I'm pretty sure it's not just a couple of minutes that they mess something's up. <laughs> I'm just going to go into a meditative stance and seeing this airtight, probably realise I only have so much air and I'm just going to try and as calm as I can. A single creature consumes the available air supply in 24 hours. Okay. Uh, actually, there is one thing in... Oh, no, no, no. That's the tunnel that's been rotated. Never mind. <sighs> that was me. How are you doing there, bro? Can you hear me? Do I hear anything? Nope. Airtight. There's no way that the sound would reach you. Uh, Moral. Uh, you'll see a skeletal corpse lying on the floor of the tunnel about 10 feet ahead. <laughs> skeletal corpse. Nope. We'll be there, about ten feet ahead, so not not at the centre. Yeah. Oh dynamic lighting. 
Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm not, I'm staying here. Uh, basically, um, this is the best I can, I mean, I can trap Umber again. Yeah, I move inside, trap me in, it's fine. Okay. Uh, yes, there is the down lighting wall ahead, but this is the only way I get to fix this lighting is to trap Umber in like this. <laughs> okay, so all right. Okay, so essentially, there is now a tunnel, and I see a skeleton. Yes, the skeleton is there. It seems to have some stuff. Oh. What kind of stuff does it have? Uh, not wearing any armor, but carrying a an Ikawa dungeoneer's pack. What looks like a currency pouch. Ivory bat scratcher, a holy symbol, and a red crystal eyeball measuring one inch in diameter. Red crystal eyeball. I grab the eyeball and I grab the. Oh, and it's a plus one echo. Whoops, I just realized that shows that to you, Umbra. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> uh, plus one echo. If you guys can't work out a way to get Meryl back, then this is going to be Meryl starving to death. Um... <laughs> I, I'm sorry, my brain is off tonight. If it's Meryl, we can always go check the other place. I mean, you've got 24 hours, don't they? Ew. Yeah. Take a long rest, think about it, and come back to it. <laughs> right. Um, uh, I, mean, I also take the pouch, by the way, while I'm at it. Okay. Uh, it's a currency pouch containing 8 GP. 8. Pouch. Anything, Moro? Where did he go? I don't know, I can't see him, can't hear him. Then go further. I don't know, man. <laughs> oh. I'm gonna have to look through my spells. Do you have still uh, use of Dimension Door? I do. So you can get back to us in case you get. I'm sorry, I really need to. I'll be right back. Yes, I could. <laughs> if this passageway is mirrored, can we check the other cool space and see if anything. That's right. I try to remember my bearing, so I step back. I do it, but I can't get through the waterfall. Uh, the I've moved the dam. I, oh yeah, yeah. Mhm. Mm yeah. Lingering souls, good for role play, bad for engineering. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can just leave Meryl to starve, and we'll introduce Umbra's new character. No, we have at worst we have two weeks to figure it out. Time. This is where I was standing, right? This is where the skeleton was. Yes. Right. Okay, thinking I might actually be fine with the amount of magics I have right now. I'll keep pressing on slightly more. And stop. <clears throat> I can see his token. Uh, because. You get to there, and the hallways rotate. And Meryl, you end up back in the corridor. Moral, you end up in there. Apologies, I've got to now move the downlighting back to where it was. Looks exactly uh, the same. Up. Yep. I'm scurrying my way back the way I came. I kind of ex 
I Hello? kind of expected this to happen. Hey, um, what happened with Mark? Did I feel it go up or down? Down. Okay. Right, Baron. Actually, uh, actually, that one will have gone. That one will actually probably have gone up five feet. Thank you, because the other one had to go up. Uh, Meryl, how did we get more back? Oh, oh no. what, what actually happened down there? Yeah. Are you telling me the moral went down there? Followed me. Are you saying I'm still in the same spot, like here? Yes. I just had to move uh, the damn lighting back. I'm back, and I see we have a Meryl and, and a not moral. a moral. Yep. Yep. High dimension door. Okay. And no. no. And you are going to end up in Area 57 again. I had a way to get you out as well. <laughs> what way would that have been? I'm going to go pervade the fall in another body, run back here and chuck it in to get him out, and then just walk yeah. to the wall to get out. Yeah. But I was trying to figure out the information first without just player knowledge going, yeah. like a metagame. That's... Uh, so, what was your plan? Okay. Chuck a dead body there. Yeah, pervade the fallen to get one of the dead bodies from... When we fought last. Yeah, would so indeed have worked. The passengers away. Uh, please ignore Schrodinger's Juju, because until we know what's happened with her, I can't exactly tell you whether she's here or whether she's here as a dead body, not here or anything, so Schrodinger's Juju. Schrodinger's Juju, okay. I guess you'll have to have a solo session with Juju. Yeah. Well. So, so, for now, I'm going to presume that Juju. I'm going to work under the assumption that Juju's just kind of died because of the thing that's in this room, so whatever. But I'll figure it out later what happens with Ray. I am not quite as shocked about this room as I was last time. Nope. Oh, come out. There's some kind of a pressure plate or something that when activated, it locks you in. And I guess... Moral going there and doing the same thing got me out, but I get a feeling he's locked in there too. Okay, Moral? Yeah, you guys. We did have to mention door in case things went wrong. Yeah. Let's just hope the trap is not yeah. accounting for it. Moral. Yeah, I know. Uh, I'm just removing a spell slot. Yeah. Again, sconce above the thing holds a uh, flickering torch there's again a lever in each eye hole it is the same room as before seems like some of the corpses have changed mostly rotted a bit more there's a few fresh ones I pull the same lever as the last one okay you pull the right lever and but what is was it the right lever and and with that the mouth of the devil face opens wide, revealing a gullet filled with impenetrable darkness that pulls in everything in the room. Can you make me a dexterity saving throw? I can surely Wrong try. Lever. The right lever was not the right lever. What do you know? But the right lever is always the right lever. Technically. Not when it changes. And oh, with that, goes. with that moral, you fail to hold your great your grasp and Moral is sucked into the mouth of the face and destroyed. Moral dies. So Mano is the only one who hasn't died yet. Yeah. And I have been aware of the time for seven minutes. <laughs> with that, with Moral being obliterated, the rest of you hear the dark laughter of a Serac and that's what we're going to call it for tonight. So, so I will see you all. <laughs> okay, that didn't work. Okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Neb, Neb, I will see you on the fifteenth. For the rest of you, you know exactly when I'll see you next week, or you know, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Wait, what's happening on the eighth? See me on the uh, I am no, not I running a session know. on the 8th because I've got to be at this place called the airport to go and get oh. these people called Manon and Mia. Can't think why. Oh, oh right, right. Either way, Rookie. 
I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if you saw what I did there, but I set my health. To